Hey, it's me, Rosie Bits, and we are back with some more tantric chips with Rosie Bits. Yay! Okay, let's get started. So like, subscribe, do all those good things. Um, but let's get started. We are gonna do a few videos, a little, I think, three-part or four-part series on body love. Body love. Um, because we can never get enough of that. So we are gonna start this off with loving your body while aging because that's my thing that's what i'm doing i'm 47 47 and a half and um learning to love your body at any time is challenging especially for femme presenting folk but really for everybody i talk to a lot of people who are you know mass presenting or cisgender males or non-binary or trans people everybody's having a hard time loving their body especially during the panini right um we've put on weight we're more sedentary things are challenging and i feel like the aging process has been accelerated in many ways because we've been under such acute stress going on for you know two years now so I'm here to tell you though, that we can still love this beautiful vessel. We can still accept where we're at and not just accept, not just have a sense of neutrality, but actually know that our bodies are inherently good, that they are enough, that they are sexy, that they are desirable in whatever kind of space they're in with extra weight or maybe less mobility or maybe with issues from being ill these bodies are still good as long as they're kicking they're still good bodies so let's talk specifically about what it means to really embrace your your body while aging and what's been working for me so prior to the pandemic i really business wise i was probably like at the top of my game i'm gonna be like i'm gonna be hitting that glass ceiling soon but at the top of my game um but as far as self-confident go self-confidence goes, I was really in a low spot around connecting with my body. I had lost touch. Uh, I did not feel beautiful. I had my libido completely had left the building. I had just come out of a almost three year relationship, which was just not a good space for me to be in. I, I really lost my sense of self in that relationship and really felt like my self-esteem was eroded. So I had to start from scratch, teaching myself again, doing the stuff that I offer to others. I had to take my own medicine and reclaim and reinvestigate my connection with self. And one of the big things that I had to do was do a media, social media cleanse. I had to really get rid of some of the visions I was seeing because I am surrounded by the most beautiful, amazing, talented group of millennials and gen setters, and I love them, and they're amazing, but I really needed to start looking at some bodies that looked like mine. And then I needed dis to dismantle my idea of beauty. My idea of beauty was stuck, and it's really formed. Our ideas of beauty are really formed based on the patriarchal culture that we live in, that says that as women age, we lose our value. And that's why youth is everything. Youth and fertility are everything. And so as I started to dismantle that and see what I actually found beautiful, I was like, actually, it's not based on that anymore. And certainly I find that beautiful, but I find so many other things beautiful. So I started to investigate, like, what do I actually find as beautiful? Are there older women out there that I find beautiful? Are there older bodies? And I started to connect with my body as it was in that moment, not 20 years ago, not 10 years ago, not three years ago, but in that moment with the mobility I had, I, you know, been fairly ill. And so I had a lot less mobility and, you know, my ability to be active was lessened um, in the space just that my body was in. And when we take a look, there is so much beauty and awe caught in these physical vessels. So when I actually got a chance to take a look at my body with new eyes, with a fresh perspective, looking from my eyes, because we tend to, when we look at ourselves, we are tending to go from the perception of what will somebody else think? Does that person find me sexy, attractive, 
valuable, enough, worthwhile, all those things. So scrape that away. And then, and, and that's, you know, easier said than done. That is a lot of dismantling of old ideas. But even when you start to just think, oh yeah, you start to just change that perspective of if I just look at my body, what do I think? Then you start to create that mental divide. And rather than being worried about, am I still this or that or the other, you can look at your body and be like, I actually feel good in this body. This body works, it brings me pleasure, it brings other people pleasure. It still moves in this way or this way or this way. And you're able to connect with that again. And I can't overstate just how important it is to see other aging bodies. You know, it's, I, I, I don't think it's particularly great to look for outside validation, although outside validation helps. But in my journey around loving my body, it has helped immensely to look out into the world and see bodies that I find beautiful. And then it gives me a sense of like, oh, you know, that body, that 65 year old body is gorgeous. I think it's sexy, I think it's desirable. And if that one is beautiful, maybe mine is too. And if this other one is beautiful, maybe mine is too. You kind of find where you fit when you open up your idea of beauty. And there's so many great representations. Now, what's incredible about living in the time that we're living in is you can find these representations. You can go out and look. Even from a year ago when I was making videos, there's so much more diversity represented in social media than there was. Like it's growing exponentially. So you're gonna find a body that looks a lot like yours if you take a look. And you're gonna find a million people who think that body is sexier than anything if you need that little boost of external validation. And you're gonna find some people who are like, oh, that's disgusting, lose weight, or you're too old, or blah, 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 blah. But there's always those haters. They just exist because their lives are boring and kind of shitty, and so they project that out into the world. So take a look, find other people who are like you, and then take a look in here and start to appreciate what this body is, what it means to be aging. One of the things that I did after I had children, I had children really young, I was 20, or the, my first one was really young, I was 20 and then 27. And after my first child, my body changed dramatically. I was 19 when I got pregnant, really, really skinny, tiny little A-cup breasts, um, and I got stretch marks everywhere, my breasts grew really big, and so I had to really claim the idea of these are part of the journey, right? For me at 20, part of the journey that my body showed, like a map, were these stretch marks, were these breasts that had expanded, was this squishy tummy from holding a baby in it, you know, all those things. And I started to look at my body like a map of my experiences. And now that I'm 47, I am looking at my body like a map of my experiences and that squishiness and these really big breasts and this big ass, all of this is a map of my experiences. And what I am at this point, so, you know, beginning of 2020, my self-esteem was like, Meh. I wasn't feeling sexy, I wasn't feeling beautiful, I was really having to reclaim that. Now, 2022, two years later, I'm just kicking my dog a bit. Guys, just kicking my dog a bit because he's going for a little nest in the carpet again. So now, two years later, I'm feeling fully in my body again. I am loving it. I look in the mirror and catch myself in the mirror going, damn, that's sexy. I've talked in other videos about, you know, getting, as you get older and as you gain weight, you need smaller clothes, smaller bikinis. I wore the most scandalous bikinis to Mexico. When I go back again, I will wear even smaller ones because it's necessary. And I'm just enjoying being in my sensuality as this full woman, as a middle-aged woman. I'm digging it. And I have to say, as far as outside validation goes, I have a million, I have so many young men sending me, you know, emails or asking for dates or text messages just saying I love, I love and I'm so attracted to who you are as a full woman and to this older woman's body. And it's funny, when I started to get them like again and again, I was like, 
that's interesting. But specifically what they're saying is, I really like this, like, I like the softness, I like the fullness, I like how comfortable an older woman is in her body, I like the sag, I like all those things. And there's this whole generation of men who are so into it. And again, the outside validation doesn't matter, but it's it's pretty cute to, to see that it's actually there. And that when we choose to step into it, it's like there's always gonna be somebody who's willing to validate our beauty when we can see it ourselves. So that's giving you a couple little things. Um, I hold a body love course. If you're interested, you just shoot me off an email. Happens a couple times a year, working on an online one. So watch for that. But that's loving your body and aging. Okay, love you. Bye.